hey, Spring Lafay, Simple Tara. Okay, Aquarius, this is for you. Um, I'm drawing to several different cards, several different cards. So yeah, we're gonna go with this. You've got uh, 39 new life, you know, and you've got flexible 19. Be flexible. You've got a new beginning. This is beautiful. Um, you know, learn to do do the maneuvers. You know, to go in and out. Um, Without letting things, um, it feels like, really affect you. Um, I, I'm seeing a duck with, you know, how water just kind of rolls off a duck's back. Um, so I feel like that, you know, flexible is telling you to really um, look at things differently. And see how, you know, see how things affect you and don't allow it. You know, don't allow yourself to get hemmed in. To something that's going to um, bring you negativity. I also feel like someone does need exercise. So there's there's a need for more sleep and a need for exercise. And that's probably for a lot of us. Yeah. Um, in order to be more flexible. Um, I also feel like someone's going to, um, as far as a job's concerned, they're going to be called to get up really early and to have to be very flexible during the day because um, it's almost like they'll be pulled in different directions. So I don't know who that's for, but but I'm seeing dollar signs. So uh, the money will be up there for whatever it is you're having to go through. Okay, I want to take you a Moonology card. We got you two of them. And we've got um, Luck is on your side, New Moon in Sagittarius. So things are looking bright things are looking good in this new life that you've got going on here and then we have over here a time to give rather than take new moon in virgo so you know a need to give of yourself this could be your time energy um compassion you know it could be so many different things okay let's take you one of these i'm going to take quite a few different cards because i'm drawn to them Okay, four Aquarius, four Aquarius, oh, they almost started out, four Aquarius, may I have the right card, four Aquarius, okay, the one, it's on the verge, may I have the card, They sent out a bunch of them. Okay. They they belong. Uh, that's that's why it took so long. Um, this is about really how, how you deal with things. Okay. We've got peacefulness, tolerance, detachment, and respect and past. So, it feels like they all go together. Let me try to get these in my hand so that I can show you all of them. We're going to start with peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. Tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideas of love. That's beautiful. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. And then we have past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. That is beautiful. Opening yourself up for new love. That That is awesome. Let's take you some tarot here. For Aquarius, what is the message that goes along with this reading today? Okay. Okay, I feel like that you're learning to be patient. Um, see, this is like waiting and anticipating. I feel like with it being reversed, you're learning to be patient 
going forward and not not putting too much you know um, into the fact that it's not coming exactly when you expected it to queen of swords that's you working very hard carrying your own burdens standing alone see what i'm saying um but i also feel like that on the other side of this you see you're learning to be patient about what you want and and when it comes to you not anticipate not not standing there and just like come on come on um okay we've got the relationship card we've got uh, the card of uh, making new um like selling new seeds like making new friends meeting new people but then we have the ten of swords so i need to do a little clarifying here uh, so we'll get a little clarity So I know where this is coming from. A little bit clearer. Uh, the Three of Pentacles. Can you clarify the Three of Pentacles? Please clarify the Three of Pentacles. Okay, the world reversed. Okay. Please clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Something ended. You cut a relationship out of your life because it hurt you. There was an ending at some point in time because it, it brought you pain. So you don't want more of that, but you're opening your heart up to something new. Um, wow, this is beautiful. Okay. So, and this doesn't have to be romantic. That's the thing. Um, you know, this could be a family related thing, it could be friend related. Um, people, you know, get hurt, people hurt one another. And, um, yeah okay okay if this is friend related okay this is someone that you know they may be guarding themselves they um something didn't go right in the past and but they're thinking they're 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 really reminiscing it feels like on on the good times but uh, they are also reminiscing on the bad times and how something ended so there was an ending with someone uh, uh, an old friend of some sort and you know they may want to come back around okay if this is uh family related Okay, if it's family related, um, you're dealing with the energies of two people. An emperor and a queen of wands could be a mother and father, could be anyone basically that's family, you consider family. Um, you know, they're, they're moving at their own pace. There's something, something went wrong or something happened. Uh, they are moving at their own pace. They're going to want to offer something. It may be an apology. Um, something that I feel it could be something you can put your hands on. But it also could be an apology. And I feel like that um, once things are talked out or, you know, given a little room to breathe and just figure things out, I feel like that, you know, there will be emotions offered and... It can be healed. Okay. Now, if this is romantic, okay. Um, a person that is either, you know, around you or not around you. Okay. This is okay. This is whoever it ended with, right here. They're they're dealing with some karma. But they're getting over a broken heart, and um, they may be in a karmic relationship. Um, something, you know, there's four of wands here that is happy home, happy life, but at the same time, it's like they're dealing with crap. So that's kind of a mixed feeling there. Okay. 
this person, whoever this is, um, they feel stuck in something. And they have a lot of emotion for family, it feels like. But they feel like they're stuck. They feel like they... they um, see, this keeps staying on the bottom. <laughs> um, it's almost like this person wants to be single. They want to walk away from something. Uh, because there's been a big tower moment. And... Um, but it's almost like you're an option. Choice between two. See what I'm saying? So, yeah. I don't think you want to be an option. Anyone's option. No, I don't think you do. Um, if this is romantic... Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Got you one of these. Eight of emotion. Well, look at that. You feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life, in your heart. You know that there's more out there waiting for you in this world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. We have new life right here. It's time to make some changes, it looks like, you know? Time to change something. Yeah. Um. You know, it feels like it's time for some big changes. I mean, if you think about moving or even changing jobs or, or moving places or moving houses or moving new cities or, or such. That's big changes, you know. Uh, that really is. Okay. Um, in the extended, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for some advice for you. Um, but I'm also going to look at some signs. Um, because I'm, see I'm seeing a lot of different signs here. You could be dealing with an... Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a um, Gemini. Who else is sticking out to me here now? Who else is like right there at me? Be dealing with a Scorpio. I'll look at Scorpio. I figure Aries. I'll look at Aries. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm drawn to anything else. Any other ones. Doesn't always have to be a major arcana to draw you in sometimes. You can get things from the other cards as well. Often. Um, I'm going to look at um, Libra. Okay, I'm going to look at Libra. And I'm going to look at um, Capricorn. Just because we got uh, justice there. And I feel like I should look at Libra and Capricorn. Um, um, let's see. 
Am I drawn to anything else? up Leo. I'm drawn to this um, Queen of Wands over here. I'm going to look up Leo. Um, you know, something may come about between in between March and April um, or the months of March and April. Um, something could come about. So, in the extended, I'll get some more advice for you. I'll take some more different, you know, different cards. Um, and I want to look at if you're dealing with an Aries, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Scorpio, Capricorn, Gemini, and Libra. So, yeah, if you like the readings, thumbs up. Um, please do subscribe and um, share them out. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I am starting to put, whenever a reading has an extended reading, I'm starting to put the name. Uh, down in the description box right there at the first. It's that way, you know, people can look at it and I, I kind of name it from kind of what I, I get. So that way you kind of got an idea if you even feel like it's for you or not. Um, so, yeah. Um, and let's lighten up. Till next time. Bye.